Rappler CEO and executive editor Maria Ressa is arrested early Friday morning over a charge of violating the anti-dummy law. Pasig police officers served the warrant of arrest the moment that Ressa deplaned at Terminal 1 of the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. Ressa then poses bail worth 90,000 pesos or a little over $1,700 for the anti-dummy law offense. Ressa's co-defendants in the charge, including Rappler managing editor Glenda Gloria and members of the company's 2016 board, posted their bail worth the same amount on Wednesday even if there was no warrant yet. Ressa was abroad when charges were filed. She says her arrest and the charges against the board send a bad signal to the world, especially the business community. Apparently, the Philippine government isn't satisfied with arresting just me, the fact that they also included upstanding, successful tech and education entrepreneurs and businessmen, this is a bad signal to send to the rest of the world. People like Manny Ayala, who is the head of Endeavor Philippines. People like Felicia Atienza, who is of an investment banker who has come home to, to actually set up the Chinese International School. Um, so many of our directors who, frankly, the Philippines should be proud of. They're not criminals. Neither am I. The charges stemmed from a complaint by the National Bureau of Investigation, which said Rappler violated the anti-dummy law for issuing Philippine Depository Receipts or PDRs before Investor Omidyar Network. The Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, tried to shut down Rappler in 2018 over the PDRs, which is said is equivalent to foreign control. This is the seventh active court case against Ressa and the eleventh case overall against Rappler, its directors and staff since January 2018 when the SEC attempted to shut the company down.